Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one gonna be on Hexed issue number one and this is a new comic book that has been published by Boom Studios and uh, the book was a pretty good book and a pretty good read to be quite honest so basically this issue opens up with our main character who's called Lucifer she's a girl she's a thief and she is this magician or this outcast uh, person who can uh, you know call upon demons who can uh, cast uh, these spells on these people and that uh, was pretty amazing for a girl you know uh, I thought that uh, she might be just a thief but then Dang, this cobra thing just appeared and she was basically stealing a painting that has magic powers and basically she steal these stuff that has magic powers before bad people steal it and use it for bad things and while she was stealing it she kind of encountered uh, the guard who's called Bob or Rob I can't remember his name but basically he was suffering and the only way he can stay alive was to put the guy into the painting and uh, that's where we saw that she went back into the painting again to get him back but she wasn't alone there was a guy stalking her while she was in there and that's where we go to this lady right here who goes by the name Kimbaline she's a magician as well uh, she was after the painting as well you know uh, she wanted the painting because uh, the guy who was stalking uh, Lucifer was basically her brother and if her brother comes out of the painting it's he gonna cause a lot of trouble uh, for her and for the world they're living in right now so that's where we saw that uh, Lucifer made it out of the painting but not alone uh, you know Avis I think so his name was the brother of Kimball Line has basically appeared uh, with her. He kind of, you know, went out of the uh, painting, and that's where he we saw that he was actually a powerful guy. The cobra didn't really stop him; he just, you know, ripped it off, and that's where we saw that he kind of took the soul of her friend. Uh, I think her name was Raina or something like that, and that's where we saw that she kind of casted a spell on her friend to keep her safe for now. And uh, her top priority was to save her friend. And that's where we actually see that she's going to this girl who's called Halot. And basically this uh, woman right here, she knows basically everything, uh, every secret uh, that uh, Lucifer have. And uh, basically we know from Lucifer that Halot actually controls uh, everything that uh, Lucifer is going through. That's why she want to become the new Harlot. She wants to become the woman who knows every secret. She wants to become, uh, you know, the, the person who takes after Halda's death or something like that. That's what I got actually from the dialogue. And uh, that's where we saw that she slipped, uh, slipped her throat. Uh, so I think so she was bleeding into the circle. And I think that's uh, the way uh, to go to this place that's called the Shade. And that's where she's going to get help. For her friend Ryan that her soul was taken away by Avis to get the brother of the woman who's called Kimberline. So uh, what's my rate for this issue? I think I'm gonna go with 8.5 out of 10. Uh, it was a pretty good read, uh, pretty good art, uh, pretty good writing. It was just too good uh, you know it just jumped right to the main story and what's happening which I really love. They really take time to develop the characters. We might learn more about them in the near future which I don't really mind right now but the story is pretty cool the art is pretty cool I'm gonna you know keep on reading this book and hopefully we're gonna be getting more of these magician ladies you know it looks pretty cool for me so thank you all guys for watching let me know your thoughts if you read this book and see you guys around take care